Super Heavyweight title, Phil Fagan and Chris Chrysopolides. Michael Chevello ringside with Mark the Hammer, Castanini. Hammer, this should be something special. Well, Michael, this is certainly the unveiling of uh, Phil Fagan. Certainly a lot of uh, questions being asked. Well, all the answers are just a few moments away. Will Chris Chrysopolides have the stopping power to stop the man Phil Fagan? We've heard that he's a pretty slick mover and uh, Chris Opolides believes he's the one to stop him. The boy from the UK, Phil Fagan, versus the own <laughs> Melbourne boy, Chris Chris Opolides. Pacific Super Heavyweight title fight brought to you by La Pocketa Pizza Restaurant. The Dark Destroyer, Phil Fagan from the Kelly Seat Stables, originally from London, England. Up against Mr. Charisma, Sunshine's own Chris Chrysopolides. 
Your third man in centering, referee Malcolm Bulna. We are ready to rumble. First round of action. Fagan opening up with a solid left hook. Christopoulidis charging downstairs. Those thunderous leg kicks of his, chopping away to the lead thigh. They are the weapon that Fagan will have to watch the most, Mark. Those leg kicks of Christopoulidis. Well, Christopoulidis is certainly uh, making his game plan clear by thundering in with those two big thumping leg kicks, catching uh, Fagan sweetly. Sweetly, in turn, is going to show uh, Chrysopolidis, in his mind, how good his hands are. A nice left hand to the body there from Mr. Charisma Chrysopolidis. Fagan, very agile here in the first round. The chiseled body of the Dark Destroyer. Waiting at 94.5. Chrysopolidis slimming down to 108.5. Well, Fagan is doing what uh, not many of Chrysopolidis' other opponents do, and it is uh, actually move up on Chrysopolidis. Most of uh, Chrysopolidis' uh, former opponents have always taken a step backwards, but uh, Fagan taking the fight right up to Chrysopolidis. Chrysopolidis showing a lot of respect for his English counterpart here tonight so far. Fagan moving very well, connects with a good inside leg kick to the lead thigh, and another inside leg kick. Here come the leg kicks from Mr. Charisma, and Fagan can give them back just as well. Solid left hook there from Phil Fagan, connects there to straight left. Chris Oplidis tries to line up the big good night Irene right hand off the jaw. A cracking inside leg kick, that whipping leg kick from Chris Chris Oplidis. Well Fagan's Phil. actually landed about four good inside thigh kicks on Chris Oplidis. Chris, Op Chris Oplidis answering with a roundhouse kick for the outside thigh. And it's evening up downstairs, that's for sure. What a powerhouse battle it's been so far here in the first round. This has been long overdue in Melbourne Town, Michael. A good heavyweight, super heavyweight stoush. Where both boys give it a good red hot shake. That's what I'm hoping to see anyway. And a main event at that. It's been a long time that we've seen a main event that hasn't featured Stan the Man or Sam Greco as a super heavyweight main event. Mark the Hammer, there's the end of the first round. I'll tell you what, Phil Fagan, Mr. Mystery, but looking the goods. Well, Phil Fagan certainly uh, putting a couple of good combos together. Started with that lead left hook, very hard on Chrysopolides. Just a shame that uh, he has no fear. Chrysopolides in turn, a little cautious, which he should be because uh, not a lot known about Fagan. But uh, you can expect to see uh, Chrysopolides under the tutelage of uh, Johnny Skeeter there in the corner, come back with a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more insight into what he should be doing in the second round. And for sure, you're going to see Chrysopolides' game plan slowly start to form now, as does in the later rounds always. We're ready to get it on in the second round of action brought to you by La Porqueta Restaurant for the South Pacific Super Heavyweight title. Chrysopolidis swinging downstairs with the leg kicks to the lead leg. A well, nice left hand on Phil Fagan, the Dark Destroyer from South London. Well, Fagan, uh, Fagan's left hook is certainly one that uh, Chris Oppolita should be weary of. And Chris Oppolita's came charging in, Fagan went out with a spinning back kick. Blood flowing from the nose of Chris Oppolita's. It's all power here in the second round. Chris Oppolita's might have hurt himself. Chris Oppolita's has hurt his back. He's saying to Malcolm Bull, that's my back. This one! He has hurt his back! The, the ringside physician Peter Lewis now being called for. He will check Chris Oppolides and see if he can continue. But he certainly hurt his back when he landed. He might have twisted his back there. Chris Oppolides says, come on, I'm okay to fight! And the crowd say, we want to fight! Chris Oppolides wants to fight! Malcolm Buller gets us underway! Here they go! Again, Chris Oppolides lands heavily on his back. He's not going to do himself any good. He's got to just compose himself he to to. Make call. sure he stays on his feet because he keeps landing heavily on his back. It's going to do him no favours. Good call, Hammer. Inside leg kicks from Phil Fagan. Very agile. There's that trip hammer of a left hand. Then goes downstairs with the leg kick. Phil Fagan, very composed, very calculating, methodical fighter. Chrysopolides head hunting. More hooks than a tackle box, Chrysopolides. The front kick. Then the leg kick to the lead leg. Fagan just plowing away at the left hand. Chrysopolidis' blood streaming from his right nostril. He's in a little bit of bother here. A little bit of trouble in the second round. Well, this is where the true warrior spirit will kick in, and I'm sure Chrysopolidis has it. 
He continues the fight. He's in a bit of pain with the back, but he Don't keeps let. pushing forward. And he keeps egging Fagan on. Fagan with a front kick off the left leg to finish the second round. We have an absolute corker on our hands, Hammer. Well, certainly after that little bit of a mishap in the second round, Malcolm Baldwin didn't actually put a count on uh, Chris Oppoliti, so it's unclear as to how the, uh, the judges will score that, uh, that knockdown. Fagan, though, is very composed. I think he's working certainly to a very precise game plan. And Chris Oppoliti's in a touch of bother at the moment. I think this... Uh, this minute uh, rest he will do in the world of good. He'll compose himself and he'll come back to fight on in the third. City crowd on hand at the Maraman Town Hall. There is more electricity in here than a power plant. We are ready for the third round brought to you by La Porchetta Restaurant. Ringside promotions. The Dark Destroyer, Phil Fagan. The mystery man has certainly looked good so far. And Chrysopolidis with plenty of bad intention on his face. Referee Malcolm Bulla certainly has his work cut out with him. There is no love lost between these two men. Here comes Chrysopolidis charging. Charging like a steam train, like a freight train. Chrysopolidis opening up like a house on fire. He's come out all guns blazing. Chrysopolidis wants to get this over and done with, but he still has to be composed. Because if he makes a mistake, I'm sure Fagan's going to have the insight to capitalise on that. Chrysopolidis launching the right hand. Fagan just dancing out of the way. Keeping on the balls of his feet, moving around, showing great agility for a big man, Phil Fagan. And using that front kick off the lead leg to great avail as well, Michael. I'm telling you, uh, that's what a lot of fighters uh, should be worked more of, because when you've got a charging opponent, that is your best weapon. And Fagan is quite aware of uh, Chris Oppolini's charging ability. A lot of power being thrown here in centering the big leg kick from Phil Fagan. Chris Oppolini's. Trying to go for the knockout. Fagan just cracks the round kick off the left leg into the ribs. Christopolidis goes downstairs, chasing, hunting, plowing away at that left thigh. They almost go over the ropes right in front of us here, Hammer. I think as he ties Christopolidis, he'll slow himself down. And that is not necessarily a bad thing. Just a slip to the canvas from Christopolidis. He's getting a bit weary now, and Fagan's going to capitalise on that, but... Fagan's game plan, light on his toes and moving about. Hammer, you called it right in the last round. Chrysopolidis needs to compose himself here. Needs to be clever. Fagan moving around the ring, looking unfazed by whatever Chrysopolidis has thrown at him. There's the end of another powerhouse round. What do you think, Hammer? I tell you what, Michael, as I said earlier, long, long overdue, a great heavyweight, super heavyweight battle here. And the crowd absolutely loving it. Phil Fagan, who's been unveiled here by uh, Kelly Seif as his, uh, you know, dark destroyer. But uh, Fagan certainly putting up a very, uh, very clever fight. Very smart fighter indeed. He's not standing there trying to outpower Chrysopolidis. That would just be plain silly. Chrysopolidis, in, uh, in turn, did hurt his back in the second round. We can't forget that. So he's probably uh, fighting quite a lot of pain. And uh, he's still trying to take this fight by the throat and give it a real good shake. But uh, it's even Stevens, maybe Fagan slightly ahead with uh, a couple of clean scoring shots. But Chrysopolidis, don't forget, he's landed a couple of big thumping leg kicks. So it's, uh, it is very, very, very close. We are ready to rock and roll in the fourth round of action, our main event. It has been an absolute classic so far, an epic confrontation brought to you by La Porchetta Restaurant. Chrysopolidis goes charging with a straight right hand. Inside leg kick by Fagan, moving laterally around the ring. Sticks out the front kick off the left. Chrysopolidis hammers away. And there it is! The big left hook from Chrysopolidis! The Dark Destroyer goes down! He takes the count, Michael. And he's up. Fagan down the canvas for the first time in the fight. Here comes Mr. Charisma. He can maybe sense a victory. Fagan now on the back foot. He's been rattled. He's taking more knocks at the front door in the fourth round. Well, Fagan's trying to, uh, trying for all his worth to stop Chrysopolidis charging with that front kick. But Chrysopolidis, with the extra weight, 
Over 10 kilos, of course, that's going to be hard to stop when it gets a full head of steam charging at you. Fagan, 94 and a half kilo, Chrysopolitis, 108. More beef than a cattle ranch in centre ring. We have an absolute war in our hands. I'll tell you what, Hammer, I'm losing my voice over this one. You better get the straight jacket ready, because these two are going hell for leather. What a cracker jack fight, Michael. This is uh, certainly going to do kickboxing in Melbourne, no harm at all. People are certainly getting their money's worth here on this Kelly Seek ringside promotion for the main bout. Blood streaming from the nose of Chris Chrysopolides. The Dark Destroyer Phil Fagan dropped earlier in the round, but now seems to have his composure back. It'll certainly be Chrysopolides' round on the judges' scorecards. Here goes Mr. Charisma, cracking away again. Chrysopolides letting it all go. He knows his leg kick is his main weapon. He needs trying valiantly to put that on to Fagan. Fagan, just no power in those leg kicks now in the fourth round. Not enough mustard behind him to do any real damage at all. He stings him with the left hand. Chrysopolides walks straight into it. End of the fourth round. The two warriors, tiredly but full of courage, stumble back to their corners. Well, four rounds down, four to go. We're exactly halfway there. If it goes the distance, well, with so much big, heavy leather being thrown and so many big thundering leg kicks from Chrysopolides especially, it's going to be a miracle if it goes the distance and these boys will certainly feel the, uh, the pains of that tomorrow. But what can I say, Michael? What a great battle today. What an evenly matched, uh, great battle. And both fighters are certainly going to come away much, much better for this experience. Chrysopolides needed someone to push him and Fagan's the man doing it at the moment. And I'm sure when Chris Chrysopolides walks away from this bout, he's going to have some well, well uh, and hard-earned experience under his belt. Phil Fagan, what a baptism of fire. To, uh, to Aussie kickboxing, he's getting right at the moment. We are ready to get it on in the fifth round. A test of endurance, a test of guts, of intestinal fortitude. Chrysopolides and the Dark Destroyer, Phil Fagan. Fagan's power seemed to have gone from his leg kicks at the end of the last round. Chrysopolides' leg kicks as powerful as ever. Here goes Chrysopolides, opening up in a blaze yet again. Thundering away in the neutral corner. They tangle against the ropes. Cracks away to the lead leg. And another one by Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides launching a big round kick off that lead leg, which is particularly good for a, such a big man. Launching the big right head round kick. Chrysopolides taunting him. Say, come on, my chin is here. Hit me. Hit me, Dark Destroyer. Fagan not taking the invitation at the moment. Playing a clever game. Just trying to rally up the points. A good inside leg kick by Fagan. No power in it, but he's putting it there. A titanic battle of epic proportions. Two warriors with enormous hearts. They tangle in the neutral corner. Chrysopolides, 108 kilos of body weight. Raining down upon Phil Fagan, wearing him down. Fagan started the first three rounds strongly. Chrysopolides came back in the fourth. Now we're in round number five. Just clocks him there. A sweet left. Fagan's very, very uh, good left hook just popping out on Chrysopolides there. Well, Chrysopolides returned the favour and gave Fagan a taste of his left hand. Chrysopolides still going downstairs, thundering away with those chopping leg kicks. Fagan dancing around the ring, the inside leg kick. Ooh, connects, a beautiful right hand, rock Chrysopolides' head back, and a beautiful left, Chrysopolides on rubber leg street, on rubber leg street, the end of the round. Chrysopolides was wobbled yet again. Phil Fagan, what a cracker. Well, Phil Fagan putting that sweet left hook in there on Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides truly being tested. Phil Fagan catching him with that sweet left hook. Chrysopolides has to keep his right hand up to negate that left hook. Chris Fagan's found an opening there. Chrysopolides carrying his right hand very, very low. And uh, Fagan putting the pressure on there. Chrysopolides starting the round very strong but tiring towards the end there. Fagan just piling the points towards the end of the round. Chrysopolides has got a mimic Fagan's uh, game plan, I suppose. Be up on his bike, moving around and uh, just piling up the points a little. 
because at this at this stage I think Fagan that's his game plan he's just going to pepper away and try and outlast uh, Chrysopolides because he believes he has the fitness to do so Round six of action brought to you by La Porchetta Restaurants. Ringside promotions. We have seen a war and it's not over yet. Chrysopolides and Mouse under his left eye. He was wobbled at the end of the last round. You see Chrysopolides' right hand very, very low. He's got to get it up to the side of his jaw because that's what, that's what Fagan's going to work. Chrysopolides focusing, focusing in there on his launching his big leg kick. But Fagan just not letting the, uh, the target be too stagnant as he big, goes down. Big leg kick from Chrysopolides. Referee Malcolm Bulldog applies a count. Fagan says, I'm all right, ref. There's no count there. a three still, count, Michael. Still has some weapons left in his arsenal. He has absorbed an immense amount of punishment, but Mr. Charisma keeps fighting back. A nice left to the body there from Phil Fagan, the Dark Destroyer. Will he win it here tonight? Will the dark days be upon Australian kickboxing? Chris Apolletti's don't write him off yet, Michael, because this guy has truly got the warrior spirit. He is pushing and pushing and pushing. He's got a, he's got a sore back. He's, he's had a tumble early, and he's just digging right in now. And I really, uh, really, uh, my admiration for Chris Apolletti's ability has shot through the roof with his, with his intense, uh, intestinal fortitude here tonight. A tap thumping left hand from Chris Apolletti's. Look at the irate crowd over the late blow. Chrysopolides, well, no love lost between him and the crowd, that's for sure. Well, you've got to remember, Michael, these boys have got a full head of steam in here. They both want the win. They both want the win bitterly. And uh, Chrysopolides, is, you know, he was going there. Fagan's gloves touch a ground, and that is where the break has to occur. Fagan now, for the first time in the fight, breathing very, very heavily, sucking in the air, still manages to connect with a nice, sweet left hand. A top thumping left again, sticks out the defensive front kick, goes downstairs, Chrysopolis checks the leg kick. We are ready for another round of action, Hammer. I'll tell you what, as I said, you know, people uh, get a little bit emotional, but uh, these guys are both in there trying, to, trying their hearts out. Chrysopolis, you know, he had a full head of steam going, he thought he had uh, Fagan on the ropes, and he's let go with his combination, and uh, Fagan's gone down, and he's got caught. You know, it is unfortunate, it's not the way that either fighter would have wanted it to go, but these things do happen, and we've just got to press on, because this is truly an epic battle. This is something that people are going to be talking about for a long, long time. Round number seven for the South Pacific Super Heavyweight title brought to you by La Porchetta Restaurant. This capacity crowd at Marama Town Hall on the edge of their seats. Chrysopolides wading out the left hook. Sweat flying off the fighters and onto us here in the commentary position ringside. Chrysopolides goes head hunting, chops away off the leg kick, chops away again. Phil Fagan in a lot of trouble here in this round so far, but he powers back. The Dark Destroyer gives me a chance to take my voice beyond the threshold of pain yet again. Chrysopolides burying away. Malcolm Bulldog keeping a close eye on it. Well, if there's one man working harder than the fighters, it's got to be Malcolm Bulldog. He's right in there all over it. He certainly uh, has a job that I wouldn't want for the world. But these two boys, they want it, they want it badly. Arguably the fight of the year, and it isn't over yet, folks. Leg kicks by Chrysopolides. The big right hand by Fagan. He's wobbled him again. Chrysopolides fires back. This is the type of stuff you see in the movies, Hammer. I'll tell you what, Michael. Chris Chrysopolides, what a warrior. Phil Fagan, he's certainly going to make his impact here in Australia, that's for sure. The bloodied red nose of Chrysopolides tells a story. He's taken more knocks at the front door in this fight. Phil Fagan continues to play away. The leg kick to the lead leg. The left hand didn't find the mark. There was a short uppercut. Wow, this is like a Rocky movie. Chrysopolis goes downstairs. Fagan ties him up. 
Chrysopolini just smothering him with his full body weight. Well, Chrysopolini's got to dig in now because he's landed some good scoring leg kicks. He's got to keep putting him on. There's that left from Chrysopolini. He's nicely timed on Fagan. What an absolute classic. The end of the seventh round. We have one more to go, Hammer. I'll tell you what, Michael, it's really going to come down to how the judges are scoring this fight because if we look at the hand department, you've got to say Fagan, but when you look at the kicking, especially in the later rounds, Chris Opelides has landed some big heavy leg kicks and it's, uh, it's really going to depend on how the judges want to score those leg kicks. But uh, Fagan's landed some tidy technique. He had, the, he had his front kicks going earlier in, the, uh, in rounds one and two. You know, he's got some good front kicks there. So uh, it is a very, very, very even round. As is our, uh, as is our last couple of fights been uh, right down the wire. This is another one. A triple, triple main events, I'd have to say. Chris Collard, Lee Stevens, Chris Chrysopolides. Def, all these fights have been very good. Slagetti Dalek just getting the points over Lee Stevens. And uh, this one here, I don't know, at this point, I wouldn't like to call it. It's all going to come down to the eighth round. And attention is certainly building here in centre ring. The time for talk is over. The eighth and final round. After this round, one of these men will be crowned the South Pacific Super Heavyweight Champion. They touch gloves. Malcolm Bulner gets us underway. Sweat flies off the brow of both of these warriors. A big thunderous leg kick from the Titan Chrysopolides. They're letting it all go. Down goes Fagan. Another leg kick. Both men sucking in the air. This will be the longest two minutes of Chris Chrysopolides' life as he battles the time, take the points here. Fagan making the job increasingly difficult by moving around light on his feet. That's good form from Fagan for sure. A nice left hand by Chrysopolides. Fagan be doing a quick count of his teeth after that one. Fagan off the left hand. Only about a minute and a half to go. A minute and a half of the rest of the lives of Phil Fagan and Chris Chrysopolides. Toe to toe. They slug it out. It's like a Hollywood movie. Except it's real, folks. It's all real. These are the types of fights that promoters and fans dream for. Short right uppercut from Fagan, left uppercut from Fagan. Rock the head back of Chrysopolides, but Mr. Charisma keeps moving forward. I don't think I've ever seen Chris Chrysopolides go eight rounds with any man, so you've got to take your hat off to Fagan there. He's taken him eight rounds. This is very much uncharted territory for Chris Chrysopolides, or at least a, round, a number of rounds that he's not used to going to, and he's going to benefit greatly from this experience, that's for sure. Arguably the fight of the year. Both men deserve a standing ovation. The thundering overhand right from Chrysopolides. The left hook misses the target. Chrysopolides' left bright. eye almost closed there, Mark. Chrysopolides' face tells the story. And, and there it is. There it is. The end of the eighth and final round of action. And look at the crowd. They're out of their seats. A standing ovation, Hammer. It's gone down to the judges. Well, I'd have to say, Michael, a standing ovation indeed for both of these guys. I take my hat off to both of them. In all the super heavyweight and heavyweight fights I've seen, this is certainly going to be one that I remember because these two mammoth men have put in an awesome effort. And more of this we'd like to see indeed. Chris Chrysopolides, what a warrior. Phil Fagan, well, he's going to certainly stamp his authority on the heavyweight rankings in Australia, that's for sure. He's only going to improve with time. And this one's going down to the judges. I'm not going to say because I, I, I personally would like to see both of these men walk away with a victory. But uh, Chris Opelidis landing some good, solid leg kicks. And uh, Fagan, nice tidy handwork from him. Mate, I'll be very happy to see this match as a rematch on May 2nd. 
So it doesn't matter who wins, I'll talk to both the trainers, and this will be a top three match on down the car. Good luck to both guys, thank you. It was a great fight, thank you. Champion, the Dark Destroyer, Phil Fagan. 
from myself, Michael Chevallo, and my verbal sparring partner, former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion Mark Castanini. Thank you for joining us ringside at this ringside promotion, Marabba Town Hall. Until next time, good night.